Where do you find hope these days? There's a war raging in Ukraine. There's COVID and the threat of potential future epidemics. There's increasingly frequent uh, weather events, extreme weather events. There's the fracturing of Western institutions and systems. Um, last week, we spoke about grieving for the loss that has occurred over the last two years in particular, whether it be a job, whether it be a family member, um, or whether it be just the loss of the way things were and that need that I think we all have experienced over the last couple of years of wanting things to go back to normal, accepting that things may have changed, actually, for good. This week, I'd like to talk about something slightly different, which is noticing the small things around us uh, at all times, everywhere, that can give us hope in the face of everything that's going on. For me, that is small acts of kindness. That is shared emotion, whether it be laughter or tears. That's a shared flicker of understanding between two people. That is uh, the timeless looking up at the stars, uh, seeing a child struggling to tie her shoelaces, seeing a spider um, making a web. Um, these are things which give me hope. A gentle breeze on the skin, the water on the tree after the rain has passed. And even in disaster, COVID forcing us to connect uh, in ways that we hadn't before. Um, families sitting down together and spending long periods together, months together in isolation. And those acts of heroism and defiance that we're seeing in the war. Um, the West rallying together. Uh, it gives me hope. My message this week is if you want hope, look closer because it's everywhere. Have a great week.